this tutorial, we'll be learning how to create a simple animation using the free Animation Desk app. First thing is go to your Google Classroom and uh, take a good look at some of the documents I sent to you. That will include plenty of links uh, that will help you uh, get an idea of how to use this app and also how to animate in general. When you open up the animation app, uh, there is some tutorials which are very good and there's plenty of videos that you can find on my YouTube channel related to this app and uh, some other animation examples. The first thing we need to do is create a storyboard. You can get a fancy one like this online or if you don't have that, just get a simple piece of printer paper and start to create a storyboard. A uh, storyboard is essentially a comic or a cartoon strip uh, where you identify the storyline as well as what things will be moving and how. So get an idea of what you want some of your imagery to look like, but also at the same time create pictures uh, that show what will be happening in your animation. For this particular project, the criteria is to have three objects that move independently of each other. So what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be creating an animation called Springtime where there's going to be a winter scene, some raindrops are going to fall, hit the snow, and out of that snow will grow a beautiful little flower. I'm also going to have a sun in the back that moves across the sky and transforms or gets larger. If you don't have an iPad, you can also get this app on your, on your phone. Uh, a little bit harder to work, of course. Uh, but it will suffice. So create a new sequence. The defaults I give you should be adequate to start. So get in there, uh, give your animation a title. Uh, and the first thing you're going to want to do is explore that toolbar on the left. Really go through that and get an idea of what's available. Uh, then you're going to go ahead and get into the layers there. Um, and you're going to go to background. You can draw your background, you can select a photo from your camera roll, or what I did here is I selected a dynamic background which is provided within the app. Uh, a dynamic background actually has some animation in it. Now my first task here is to create the simplest object within my animation, which is the sun. The sun is simply going to move from the lower left in the background up into the scene uh, and within that movement I am going to transform it or make it larger. I'm also setting a new layer here and putting in the beginning parts of the flower. Uh, so what I'm doing here is I'm creating three objects in three separate layers so that I can work on them independently within the animation. So the first thing I'm going to do here is get a little movement in my sun. I use the cutting tool to cut out the sun from the layer in which I drew it. And What I'm doing here is moving it from the lower left up across the screen uh, and what I do here to make this happen is I copy or cut and paste uh, within while also changing or moving forward within the frames. So every time I paste it's in a new frame and it's been moved slightly to the right and enlarged. So here you can see that sun of course at high speed uh, moving from the lower left to the upper right. At this point things do not have to be perfect you can duplicate frames, you can slow your flame, uh, frame rate, um, and continue to refine and work on this at a later time. So at this point, uh, what I'm going to do is move away from the sun and get into a different layer here. Uh, and I'm going to start to put in the rain droplets coming down from the top center of the screen. I'm going to be doing this in the same fashion and the transformation here is actually going to be uh, I'm going to stretch that that drip as it comes down so it's going to actually get longer as it goes through. Now in this final section here I'm in my third layer which is the flower and what I'm doing here is frame by frame animation. So what happens here is within each new frame I draw a little bit more of the flower. Okay, so what you can see here is each time I draw and lengthen and thicken that stem, uh, I add a little bit more and go over to the left hand side toolbar and click the uh, 
frame advance button, which brings me to the next frame. Of course, I would say do at least five or ten of these frames and then go ahead and give it a test run uh, and see how it looks. Now, this is, of course, sped up, but you can start to see some of the movement in my animation. Continue doing this until you actually get some of the results that you're shooting for. And then, of course, uh, at a later time, we will come in and begin to refine this animation even more, whether that means replacing or adding to some of our pictures, uh, maybe even adding more objects. Uh, usually what happens is that most people that animate for the first time, once you kind of get in yourself in a rhythm, uh, things will move a lot quicker and uh, easier. That's it for now, and uh, we'll see you in the next video, where we'll really bring this animation to a close. Thanks for watching.